Well, guys, my parents finally let me see a rated R movie in theaters. <laughs> Ridge is a new war film directed by Mel Gibson, and it stars Andrew Garfield, Teresa Palmer, Hugo Weaving, uh, Vince Vaughn, and a bunch of other people it would take me way too long to mention. And this is the true story movie about the man Desmond Doss, who joined World War II and, and was helping with the Hacksaw Ridge assault, and he was a person that joined the army, but and he refused to ever touch a gun, so it's very hard for him to be in this army, and a bunch of people really disrespect him, but throughout this movie, he becomes a hero, and it's the whole story about this actual guy, and all this stuff actually happened, which is crazy. So guys, I was really looking forward to Hacksaw Ridge, because the trailers were really good, the reviews were really great, I didn't know too much about the movie, but I was really, Really looking forward to it, given the trailers and the talent involved, and the fact that people are saying it's the best war movie since Saving Private Ryan. And guys, Hacksaw Ridge absolutely does not disappoint. This movie was incredible! It was so good! I've been waiting all year for another movie like this. This movie is probably my favorite of the year right now. I'm not kidding you, I've been waiting so long for another movie that's this great. I am so happy with how this movie turned out. It was so good. This is one of the best movies of the decade. Guys, I love Saving Private Ryan, but in all honesty, Hexar Ridge might be even better, if not as good. I can't even decide which one I like better. These movies are just as good as each other. I'm not kidding you. This movie, Hacksaw Ridge, is going to be regarded as a classic in the future. This movie is going to be regarded as a film classic that people should always see, just like Saving Private Ryan is. This movie is going to be regarded in the Hall of Fame of historic movies. Andrew Garfield in this movie is spectacular. I love him so much in this movie. Whenever I watched Amazing Spider-Man, I was always like, Hey, you know, I feel like you could be good in other stuff, but I don't like it in this role. I really want to see you do other stuff. Can you stop being Spider-Man and do other stuff? And that's exactly what he did, and it worked out so well. I'm so glad I finally got to see how well Andrew Garfield could act, because in this movie, he is incredible. This guy doesn't get nominated for Best Actor. I'm going to be super mad at the Academy, because the Academy better not snub Hacksaw Ridge like it's snubbed movies in the past, or I'm going to be super upset because this movie needs a lot of Oscars. Andrew Garfield was so likable. He was so good and relatable, and you would understand where he's coming from in this movie. His performance was so strong, and I loved the character of Desmond Doss. This guy is an incredible, incredible person. He's such a hero. He's such an inspiring person. Because there's so many points where he could have just quit. Because all these people are hating on him, they're beating him up, they're bullying him for not holding a gun and just being a medic. They are really hating on this guy. He had to go through court cases, and he had to go through a lot of stuff to become this medic. So it would have been really easy for this guy to just give up doing what he wanted to do in World War II, but he doesn't. This guy is so persistent. It's such an inspirational movie for that reason, because this character is so persistent, and he never, ever gives up, despite all the problems he's gone through. This character is one of the best characters of the year. And also, it's not just him that's great in this movie. There are so many incredible performance in this film. One of them being by Teresa Palmer. I loved her so much in this movie. She was so good. She needs to be nominated for Best Supporting Actress. I, she really does. She's such a likable character, and her romance between Desmond Doss was super touching. I was nearly, I was like tearing up during their scenes. Their romance was so touching. But their romance was so charming, and they're both so likable together, and Teresa Palmer is so good in this movie. She keeps impressing me. And after this movie, Teresa Palmer is definitely one of my biggest celebrity crushes because her in this and in Lights Out, she has been super awesome. Teresa Palmer is an incredible actress. And another performance in this movie that I loved so much was Hugo Weaving. Where have you been, Hugo Weaving? Where have you been? 
For me, Hugo Weaving is one of the most underrated actors who ever lived. I love this guy to death, and this movie might actually be his best performance. Which, I, I hesitate to say that because he's done so many other awesome performances like The Matrix, and in Lord of the Rings, and in Captain America, but in this movie, it might actually be his best performance. He's a war veteran, and he's an alcoholic, and he's a very absent-minded father. He's very much an abusive father who's not nice to his kids or his wife because the war messed him up so psychologically. And that really showed what the war can do to somebody. It showed how war can affect someone, and it really makes you fear for the character of Desmond Doss because you think that might happen to the guy. You think he might go through the same stuff that Hugo Weaving went through in this movie because he's such a broken guy from being in the war. I really hope Hugo even gets a Best Supporting Actor nominee, but if he doesn't get the nominee, I will be very happy if Vince Vaughn gets it, because Vince Vaughn was awesome in this movie! Vince Vaughn is basically the general of the squad that has Desmond Doss in it, and he was so, so good in this movie. At first, he just seems like your stereotypical army general from all the army movies. He just seems like the same character you've seen a bunch of times. But as the movie goes on, you learn more about this character, and he becomes sort of a father figure to Desmond Dodd. And also, Sam Worthington in this movie was great! I never thought I'd say that! Why don't you do more performances like this, Sam? Please? The other thing I love about Hacksaw Ridge is that the first act of this movie is actually not in the war stuff. The first act of this movie is basically Desmond Doss before he gets into the war, how he meets Teresa Palmer, and it shows his life before he gets into the war. And I was a little bit worried going into this movie that that might meander the movie a little bit and it might be a little bit slow, but I didn't think that at all. I loved the first act of this movie. It kind of reminded me of Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring because he has like this such a happy, wonderful romance with Teresa Palmer and then everything goes to crap later on. It goes from a very happy, fun movie to a very dark, gritty, depressing film. And it kind of reminded me of Lord of the Rings because that's how Lord of the Rings starts and then it goes into a very dark, gritty path. It reminded me a lot of that and I felt like the first act of this movie was super, super good and I loved it so much. I was honestly worried that it might be the end of the movie but I really liked the setup to Desmond Doss's character. I, literally, I really liked the setup for his family and his romance between Teresa Palmer is one of my favorite things about the movie. I was watching it in awe because I wasn't watching any war scenes and I was enjoying it so much. And then after that first act they sort of go into the training and then the actual battle stuff. And it's not trying to glorify violence. It's not saying that you should see this movie because it's violence and fun to watch. It's basically saying, this sucked. This actually happened. This was a horrible thing that occurred in America. Because the action in this film is some of the most brutal action I've ever seen. And it made me feel like throwing up. But I mean that in the best possible way. Because... The movie never lets up. It literally is non-stop action for basically the second half of the entire movie. Non-stop action, and this is some of the best war action I've seen since Saving Private Ryan. The action in this movie is spectacular, and it's very hard to watch. But that's a good thing, because that's what a movie like this should be. It should be hard to watch, because it's showing how horrible World War II was. It's not trying to make bloody action Fun. It's supposed to be a very cringe-worthy movie, sort of, if that makes any sense. And the action in this movie is constantly fantastic. Mel Gibson did such a good do job directing all the action. Any stuff in the army is so well done, because before they do a lot of the action stuff, basically Desmond Dies has to deal with a lot of the pressure being put on him for not fighting, he's dealing with a lot of pressure and court cases and stuff, but he never gives up through all of that, and it's such an inspiring thing about this movie, the fact that this character never gives up because he's so true to what he believes in. It would have been so easy for him to just pick up a gun and start going at all the bad guys, but no, he never does it. Guys, I have no flaws with Hacksaw Ridge. This movie is probably my favorite of the year. I love this film to death. I've been waiting so long for a movie like this because this movie reminded me why I love movies. This and Civil War are the best films of the year because they reminded me why I love films and go to see them. 
in this movie is finally another movie this year that I can give an A+. Plus. <laughs> Guys, do not miss Hacksaw Ridge. This film is incredible. I'm really hoping it gets nominated for a lot of Oscars. It seems like it will. I am so glad that Oscar season is finally here because we can finally see some great movies. I'm so excited to see Arrival next weekend and then Fantastic Beasts and then go into December with La La Land and Rogue One. I'm so happy that this season of film is finally here. Ah, 2016 is finally going to get great. I'm so excited. Okay guys, if you like my review of Hacksaw Ridge, be sure to like this video, be sure to subscribe, be sure to comment your thoughts on Hacksaw Ridge below if you saw it, and be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.